Okay, now we're going to talk about the sum to product uh, formulas. Here they all are listed here. And what these formulas allow us to do is take a sum and rewrite it as a product. So for all these here, there is one of them on the end here, by the way, that has a negative 2. So you want to make sure you uh, uh, get that one down. That's a negative there. All the other ones are going to be uh, positive. So I'm going, to, I'm going to drive where one of these comes from, and the other ones can be derived in a similar fashion. I'm going to start with a formula that we've already derived in a previous video. We derived this one. This is our product to sum formula, and we did this one by uh, using the sum and difference formulas. We talked about where that one came from. I'm going to use this one that we derived to derive the third formula. So this one right here, the one with the arrow next to it, that's the one that I'm going to derive now. So in order to do this, I change these into u's and v's, and I'm going to let u equal x plus y over 2, and v is going to equal x minus y over 2. So I'm making these uh, definitions. That allows me to put in both of them into here, and then I'm also going to put them into the, this one as well. So everywhere I see a u, I'll put x plus y over 2. Every v I'll, I find, I'll put x minus y over 2. So that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, so we do that. I'm going to do x plus y over 2 cosine x minus y over 2. Okay, so again, all I did was I just replaced the u with x plus y over 2, and the v I replaced it with x minus y over 2. I want to do the same thing now on the right-hand side. I get 1 half cosine of x plus y over 2 minus x minus y over 2, so subtracting that, u minus v. And then I have cosine of x plus y over 2 plus x minus y over 2. So I put them in for each, each place here. U minus V, there's U, here's V. Here's U and here's V here. So I've, I've done all this. Now I want to simplify. So I'm going to do cosine of X plus Y over 2, cosine of X minus Y over 2. Okay, if I can write this out. And then I have 1 half over here. And then this part, I want to simplify. So let's take a look at what I have inside the cosine. I have x minus x, that's going to cancel. And right here, I have a, a minus and a minus, that's going to give me a plus. So I end up with, x is going to cancel, and I end up with a 2y over 2. So 2y over 2, the 2's cancel, that's going to leave me with cosine of y. So all this stuff here, if you simplify all that with common denominators and cancel it out, you're going to get just y only as a result. Over here, I get cosine. Okay, let's take a look here. I get x and x, that's 2x. The y is going to cancel with the negative y here because I'm adding this time. y plus the negative y, that's 0. I get 2x over 2. That cancels out and gives me just uh, cosine x. Okay, so I'm almost there. All I have to do now to make it look like this side is I need to multiply both sides by 2 so I could clear out the fraction that's there. So then I get 2 cosine x plus y over 2 cosine x minus y over 2. And then the 1 half is gone because I'm multiplying both sides by 2, so 2 times a half is 1. So I just get cosine y, I'll actually just rewrite it this way, so that way it looks exactly like the one up there. The order doesn't matter when you switch those. So now here it is. Uh, I've shown now that, that of how to get from the product to sum formula, and we've now gone all the way through the work, and we've shown that we can make it look like the sum uh, sum the product now. So we have product to sum and sum the product.